let's read scriptures and can we bring a Bible? You read from the Bible. Mark 12. Mark 12 from verse 14. Mark 12 from verse 14. You don't have a Bible. That's your name. Where is your Bible? <laughs> Bible here, we guy. And where is your notebook? This yeah, is yeah, one little book, guy. guy. There, there are two things here your Bible, <laughs> your notebook. Mark 12, verse 14. Arabaling Maraka 12, 14. And uh, let me read from verse 14. Yes. It says, When they had come, when they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one. For you do not regard the person of man, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay tax, taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we pay not? Or shall we not? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, why do you test me? Bring me a denarius that I may see it. So they brought it. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered and said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's and they marvel at him. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If we read in Amplified Bible, can you just read verse 15 in Amplified Bible? So, let me say, yeah, 15. Should we pay the tax or should we not pay? But knowing their hypocrisy, ask them, why are you testing me? Bring me a coin, deny us, and look at. Let's go to verse 14 in Amplified. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and have no personal bias towards anyone, for you are not influenced by outward appearance or social status, but in truth you teach the way of God. Is it lawful, according to Jewish law and tradition, to pay the poll tax to Tiberius Caesar or not? You can hear the way it has illustrated <laughs> that the information was expounded. Here you can see people who were opposing Jesus. Uh, they were leaders by that time. But when they came, they knew the truth. You know, I've been questioning the issues from the beginning, why people know the truth and they don't follow it. Just read following the truth. I want, I want to be talking about following the truth. These people, they know the truth. When they came to Jesus, they say, we know. Meaning, they have sat down and discussed Jesus. In, in the secret, they know. In public, they don't know. In public, they were going out to trap him. 
the Bible says they went to tempt him so that they would be able to trap him. They say, we, we know that you are not like us. In fact, they would try to explain themselves that you, Jesus, when you teach, you don't have respect of men. We know that you don't look at the status of life. In other words, we are doing that, but we agree that you're of the truth. In, in public, we are searching for your faults. Jesus, you know, you look at them when they were asking him, is it, is it worthy to pay tithe? Is it worthy to pay tax? Is it worthy to pay whatever? I, I believe Jesus was disappointed before they even finished. So here, they knew that they pay tithe. But they wanted to hear the mouth of Jesus. So their question was, are we supposed to pay tax to Caesar? Jesus could not even waste time. He says, give me your denarii. Can you see the inscription here? If truly you people, you pay tax. Pay tax to Caesar. But he also says, if I'm of the truth, why you don't follow me? That's why Jesus was saying, he said, give God what belongs to God. And give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. If you know, I preach the truth. You were supposed to be following me. Here Jesus spoke these words and they all marveled. One of the great challenges from the beginning Challenge of the world. People, they know the truth but they don't follow it. Deep down, if we search them in their hearts, they can tell you what is wrong and what is right. But publicly, they have to stand for themselves. They have to defend themselves. And this is what is happening today. If we read Luke 15 verse 10, look at the verse there. You could see Jesus speaking about one person repenting. He said, one person repenting, there's a joy in the presence of God. If we read that in Amplified Bible, it talks about the inner person. The old things, the old lives the the regrets past of sin. When the person wants to change the old type of life and the regrets acts of sin. Jesus was if that person can prove the life of repentance, there's a joy in heaven. Can you read in verse 10, verse 10. In the same way, I tell you, mm -hmm. there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Yes. That his changes his inner self, his old way of thinking, regrets past sin, lives his life in a way that proves repentance and seeks God's purpose for his life. Okay, I will tell you what that scripture is saying. Regretting and live a, a life of proving that you have repented. It's not easy. Because normally we live life to prove to others. If you want to see, the Bible says Jesus, when he was 
in the night Nicodemus came to him Bible here Jesus we show cha chile lengwe Nicodemus ke la mufitelo bata wen He spoke the same word we know A bolela re re atsiba Master we know that Mo rena re mo rena re motho re atsiba gore tsa ga o di thuto di tamrene But Jesus said okay can you be squashed and you become like a baby Jo no Jesus are yona o ka khona boela mo ra ona wa swana le ngwana You can be born again wa bele ga leswa Nicodemus knew what he has built it. Nicodemus bore yena o agileng. That's what the scriptures say. I mean, going back to what you have established is not easy. To ile ngwalo le bela ya ro boela mora o dintho tse o di tshitse ngwa di emisha a o nolo. People are going to question you. But but o bujisha. Already that you have proved so much. O se tsho ba bontshi tse tse dintshi. That you are a boss. O re wena ina mo mogolo. The day you show them you are a slave. Le tshatshile to ba bontsha ngore le khoba. Do you think they will believe you? Ona no re ba ta go dumela ba ta kwishisha. This scripture is showing the same that Le ngwalo le le bontsha ndwetse ya hore. You change your inner self. Ha ka nnete o ka face to some to ha wa ka hare. You talk take the old life away. Wa tsha go phelo ba ghale wa botoshetsa gole. And you begin to live a life of evidence that you have repented. Wa thomo phela bo phelo ba o bontsho re ka nnete wena o sokolo. Your girlfriend will question you. Girlfriend ya wita ta o yo botshisha. In other words be ready for a battle. Ora o ikemishetse ntwa. Your family will really question. Le la pala ha la heno le ta o botshisha. So here the Bible says there's a joy in heaven. So mo Bible e re bona le le thabo le go dimong ha mo isa di bomoti. Ya chabang a sukulu wela terisho. One sinner who goes to the truth. Mo etsa di bomo ti ya yang terisho. There's a joy in heaven. Think about it. Oneli tabo le hodimo. This shows that heaven knows those who have repented indeed. Jo ora ora le hodimo le atseba ba tuwa ba se sukulu wele kaniti le hodimo. Knows le atseba those who have repented indeed. Ba ba sukulu wele kaniti. Because there will be a joy. Your name is written and the Kaoba no ba le le thabo le ditjela ga le malwa a le register wa le godimo When you change and you live a life of truth A u chencha wa ta wa phela bo phelo ba therisho Let me give you another scripture in 2 Timothy 4 1 Timothy wa bobedi 2 Timothy 4 write write it down from verse 1 to 4 From verse 1 to 4 Read from 1 2 Timothy 4 1 to 4 I solemnly charge you uh-huh. in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus who is to judge the living and the dead the living and by and the dead, yes. his appearing and his kingdom mm. preach the word as an officer messenger as an official messenger but be ready when the time is right and even when it is not keep your sense of agency whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable whether convenient or inconvenient whether welcome or unwelcome correct those who err in doctrine or behavior warn those who sin exhort and encourage those who are growing toward spiritual maturity with inexhaustible patience and faithful teaching For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenge them with God's truth but wanting to have they are pleasing they will accumulate for themselves many teachers one after another choosing to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold and will turn their ears away from the truth and will sorry from the truth i'm sorry yes verse 4 and verse four. turn their ears away from the truth and will wander off into myth and men made fictions amen and will accept the unacceptable Amen. You see if you read from verse 3 then, You will see that people will turn away from following the truth. But batatwela go shela mara o therisho. You know I will tell you why the truth we need to follow it. Ke tala bo tsoro wa re tsontsho shela therisho morao. Okay, Paul was telling Timothy, Timothy. Paul na bo tsa Timothy, Timothy. Time of preaching the truth 
is the right time now. Na ko ya ore ra tirisho ki ana joale. You can correct. Mo ka khona go pushulla. And lead. Wa etapile. And this is the time that you must stand in the truth. And again na ko ya ore uye me tirisho. Understand this. Mara kujisha se. There will be time where people won't love the truth. O ta ba le na ko ye ba tu ba ka se rate tirisho. And they will even try to get their own people who will tell them what they want to hear. Look at verse 3. It says, for the time will come. Can you see the verse there? When people will not tolerate sound doctrine. And accurate instruction. That challenges them with God's truth. But wanted to have their ear tickled. With something pleasing. Not long I found that if we carry on telling you what you want to hear. We are deceiving you. If we carry on not teaching you from the scriptures, developing things we have learned somewhere, it is easy for you to be under attack. The time will come when people, so automatically it means the church this ratio will be very small. The encouragement of Paul to Timothy was showing that Timothy, don't cry for people to be many. Very soon they will leave you. That's what Paul was saying. People and will leave you and find this they are the people who have got their own means. They are the people who have got their own means. Teaching things that will please them. And then such people, you, make sure that you don't divert from the teaching of the truth. The teaching of the truth of the word of God direct us to God. If it's not of the truth, there is no connection with God. Not long I found a scripture in Proverbs. I want to show you. I want to show you the scripture in Proverbs. That, that scripture, when I found it, I found that we don't need to beg. Proverbs 29. If you read from verse 27, it says, an unjust man is repulsive to the righteous, and he who is upright in the way of the Lord is repulsive to the wicked. Amen. Uh, I mean, if you read that verse, it tells you that repulsive means hateful. If, I mean, if, uh, if you, you stand in the truth, people will hate you. But without lawyer. Repulsive. In other words, there's, there's a, a, you know, in magnet, there's magnetic field. I mean, whatever that is attracted to that magnet, it's been taken magnetic. by that magnetic field. So now, there will be a time whereby you'll be surprised that when you are trying to bring people to you, you find that that field the magnet that is in you, it takes them away from you. I felt like this, this is not the time of praying for people to come to church. This is the time of standing in the truth. Standing in the truth until, until God speaks. Because there is no way that God won't speak. Listen to this. This scripture shows that if you stand in the truth, there is, a, there is the beginning of a fight. You people here, the reason why people will leave you, they must leave you because of the truth. That's where God will accommodate you. For you to be appointed by God, people must leave you. 
Have you ever find how our God works? He does not work in a group. He doesn't work in majority. But when you to find you, he must find you alone. You have to be in the bush like Moses. You have to be like, I mean, Elijah running away. I don't know if you hear me. And it's then God will find you. If we carry on, try to attract people with the wrong ways, with wrong ideas, very soon we are going to be the agent of Satan. But understand that in the last days, people won't follow the truth. Repulsive. 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 Don't expect, I'm just telling pastors now. Let's not cry for our churches to be full. And let's never think about another church will die and get people from there. No, we don't need people from any other church. What is important is winning those who are not even hearing the word of God from the beginning. Paul says, I was interested to go where other has never been gone. Because in the last days, there will be too much of talking. So we need to follow the truth. I said, are you following the truth? And what is your neighbor saying? From the beginning, God shows in Acts 5 from verse 1. That he does not want people in the church to lie. If you can read what happened to Ananias and Sapphira, you'll question why it's not happening today. Where they lie before Peter. And they fall. And why is not happening now? I want to see it happening. Because if it does not happen, the fear of God and the church of God does not represent Christ. That is why there will be lies and everything in the church. We need to reach a level where we follow the truth. Tell them to follow the truth. What will happen one day when somebody lies in the church and lies? It will be a lesson for you that you must never lie again. Allow me to say the reason why those things are not happening. Wrong people, wrong people has entered the church. If you know there were issues of apostles and they are standing like this and you are coming to offer with lies you fall and die even the people outside will be afraid to join the church the church won't be a place where people go to search for solution. The church will be a place where somebody will go because he needs his life to be in eternal life. If we can preach the truth, and we live by the truth. We won't worry what is what we are not having. We won't question what is not coming. The reason why we are questioning is because we are no longer different with the people of the world. Look at this verse that I want to read here. In 1 Corinthians 13 6, it says, Love does not not rejoice at injustice but rejoices with the truth. Love, if you love Christ, you will rejoice with the truth. In fact, you will find the truth and follow it. Love does not rejoice at injustice. It rejoices following the truth. In other words, when we have got love of Christ in us, we will make sure that injustice is not part of us. 
Many of us today we need to repent. There's too much injustice everywhere. If truly we love Christ, there have to be truth in us. I don't know if you're hearing that. And the truth shows that injustice is not part of us. I don't know what will happen in the last day. Because we are full of injustice. If we can look on what we have, it brings a description of what we are not. This is part of injustice. One time I told uh, someone, I said, if you send me somewhere, and I go somewhere, I'm doing big things there. It's still part of injustice. Injustice is to do things without his will. And without his will is without faith. If you look at John 1, maybe let's read 17. Verse 17. It says, sanctify them by the truth to send them apart for your purpose. You need the truth. I want to tell you that God will never use anyone who doesn't have the truth. When God wants to choose you, he sanctifies you by the truth. I don't know if you hear me. Listen, you, you'll be sanctified by the truth. To set for his purpose. How many of you today, no matter what, you will stand in the truth? If you will do that, you will go to your own assignment. Because God uses the truth to your own assignment. I found that uh, if God wants to use some people, 99% of the people that God is using, he removed them from their comfort zone and put them where they don't want to be. And when they are there, they fulfill the scriptures in, in James 5. If you suffer, you must pray. When they are busy praying, God catches them. I don't know if you are hearing that. Are you hearing that? Many times I wish we can reach a level where God, when he searches for us, he finds us pray. He found us pray. Because if you look at this scripture, you will see that he needs us to be in truth. He just needs us to be in truth. And it will be set aside for, for our own assignment. I will tell you something that happened to me. One time, I will tell you this, it happened. I found that all people who are used by God, they face, I mean, if they are called by God truly, there's anointing that will attract everything to them. It attracts money. It attracts pride. It attracts ladies. And then, especially when you're a man. When my spiritual father died, Everybody around me was encouraging me to leave Charis. And I said, I will never leave Charis. Because the one who died, he gave me the name. He never changed. And I told many people that he never gave me money. He gave me the name Charis. And he died. So now he has to resurrect and change me. I must stand in the truth when I'm being challenged to 
change chariots. I don't know if you're hearing me. Many things are coming your way so that you divert from what you say, from what you commit yourself, from what you believe in. I don't know if you're hearing me. Can I tell you this? Stand your grounds. God wants people who cannot change when the winds came. When the winds come, the storm comes, when you must stand your ground. I don't know if you are hearing me. And that's where the Holy Spirit will come. You are sanctified. But the truth, before God gives you anointing, you have to be sanctified by the truth. You must be a man of the truth. If you don't have the truth, forget about Holy Spirit and the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 8 verse 32. The Bible says you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Once I know that stealing... It's not our way. I won't stay. Fighting is not my way. I won't fight. I will have the truth. I don't know if you're hearing me. Pastor Mary said, do you have the truth? Are you following the truth? Let's read this scripture and and it's then I will close because I'm seeing many people who are not in truth here. They, they, they want me to make an altar call. In 2 Kings 5, let's go there. 2 Kings 5, verse 13. You, you'll be surprised to find this verse. 20. 20. 2 Kings 5, 20. Verse 20. Yes. There. Can you read? When Gehaz, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, My master has spared this Naaman, the Ar Aramean, Syrian, by not accepting from him what he brought. As the Lord lives, I will run after him and get something from him. Can you just carry on reading? So Gaius pursued Naaman. When Naaman saw someone running after him, he got down from his chariot to meet him and said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me to say, Just now two young men of the sons of the prophets have come to me from the hill country of Ephraim. Please give them a talent of silver and two changes of clothes. Carry on reading. Naaman said, please take two talents. And he urged him to accept and tied up two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of clothes and gave them to two of his servants and they carried them in front of Gehaz. When he came to the hill, he took them from their hand and put them in the house for safekeeping. And he sent the men away, and they left. Then he went in and stood before his master Elisha, asking him, Where have you been, Gehaz? He said, Your servant went nowhere. Elisha said to him, did my heart not go with you when the man turned from his chariot to meet you? Is it not proper time to accept money and clothing and olive orchards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and male and female servants? Therefore, the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and to your descendants forever. So Gaius departed from his presence a leper as white as snow. Allow me to say this. I'm praying this year that people who are called pastors must see in the spirit. If you don't know, many things are happening in the church. Do you know that the more you have a big church claiming to see, the more you are a sinner. 
the more you have a very big church how we will get like khulu 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 claiming to see o re ke a bona is the more you are, you are seen ke ga o tla ba o sinya o tswela pele because many people are coming to church other never slept home ba ba ngwe ba tele ke re ke ngontsi a re ma ga nthi a ba ro ba la ka hae there are many gazes in the church ona bo gaze ba ba ntshi ka ranto ya modimo think about a person who's a worshipper na ana motho ba mmitsa gore ke worshipper i give example last time that ke fela mo thalana ke nako ya o fit ke re se se mo ngotele ke re ke and god show me what was happening mo de mam ponchento ne di a hala I said I don't want to embarrass this lady let me tell her in the ear come says ka re akinya ko swabisa se se re ke mo sebele ka ra tsebe there is something you did na le ntweng o yi dirile you you committed abortion o dirile abortion that sister say ah how do you know se se la re le tseba tseba jwang okay you need to confess this we na o tsontse e polela dilong tshe and she said I said what are you doing the Jesus I'm a worshipper. Karo di anko kereke ngare ke a opela. I didn't want to confess there because they would remove me. Akinya ku bulela ka le bakala ro ba ta ntusha. And then I'm in a church where singing, you know, I have to follow my career. Ke mo kereke ye go opela na e no swana le mushumo go nna ke tsotjo e shala morao. This trouble my life, I mean for a long time. Taba ye ya tshonya moya wa ka na go etelele. I'm pray that you people who are close to the pastors ke ra pelo re lena ba leng ga o swele ba roti you must have the truth e bang le theresho and follow the truth le shale theresho morao look the leprosy come into the person bona le phera le la le wena o di mo motho a na tshwentsho thola ka rule tshe pedi tsa bo profeta when the prophet say where were you ha mo profeta mo tshoro na o le ka i didn't go anywhere ara o ana ka ya filo how many of us lie to the servants of god ke ba ka e ba rena ba botsang ba thanka ba modimo maka and this is really affecting us not to receive what the servants of god are and they affect her not receive ka amogela tshe ba thanka ba modimo ba ditshwereng he say my spirit went with you are moya wa ka o sepitshile wena ke has i saw you stealing ke o bone o tswa kwa le you took things that i deny to take o shi tere di lo tsena ke de hang why we na o ka ba le ntwe ke nna ke nna le yona do you know that one of our problem is we don't understand the anointing we are under we don't understand the anointing we are under are ku shito tjo e rileng ka tsa se yona makes us to speak whatever we want to say and i dira o rita ba i dira no bolela se re ba tsang bolela yare affecta we lie ra bolela maka we are like i mean children of gears re swana le bana ba gears and that's where we think we are anointed where as our anointing is fading ke mo re na hana ngore toditswe ka kudu ga ntito jo ya e gona if you see what gears did a re ka le mo ra bona se gears a se dirileng he was following what his master was not following na shala mo ra o nte mo rena wa ha e na sa i shala mo ra o his master say this is not the time now mo rena wa ha e o tse eh eh a se na ko but gears was seeing it somewhere mo ra gears na e bona ka i kai there were other masters were doing it no na le ba ba ngwe ne ba di dira so now ma The prophet said this is not the time guys so the prophet or yeah sin na ko ya rena wena it might be the time of them but ikaba ile ya bona mara e sing ya rena it was a time for you to get a double portion na ile na ko ya re wena o thole ka rolo tshepedi and now you are following money jwa no o shetse tshelete morao one of the thing that really affect us is our circumstances ya re affect kudukuru ki maemo a bophilo we are try to solve our problems by getting money re lika wa rala ma rena ka o khwetsa chelete and this money is becoming the root of all evil and a chelete e ba mudu wa di bika moka who told you that you can not live without money ke manga re leng bophilo bo ka sebe gona a chelete e siyo you can still live without money o ka no tswala pele ka bophilo chelete e se gona there are people who have lived on earth without money what are they ba pitching le fasting lona le chelete e siyo If you don't have money that doesn't mean that your life is finished. Ha o sna chelete ora ro bophilo ba ga o bofetile. Our problem today is We want to be like others. We want to be like others. Re nyoko no swana le ba bangwe. So there are many children of Gazi. So gona le bana ba ba ntshi ba Gaz. Following the servants of God. Ba shala ba thanka ba modimo ka morao. Sometimes they go when they are inspected. Na go tedi go ba ya mo ba tholwang ke moya wa modimo. 
but you find that when they are there they do the contrary what the service of god denied. look at this character maybe you will understand why i'm saying this just read isaiah 59 1 to 8 many children of gehaz are asking why God is not answering. And the Bible says it's because of sin. It's because of their transgression. God is there but he's speaking but they cannot hear. Even when they speak God can hear them. If they pray God can hear them. Can you read verse 4? Verse 4. Start from verse 4. You say what? Not one sues righteously, but for the sake of doing injury to others to take some undue advantage. And no one pleads his case in truth, but rather they trust in empty arguments and speak lies. They conceive trouble and bring forth injustice. They hedge vipers' eggs and weave the spider's webs. He who eats of their eggs dies, and from an egg which is crushed, a viper breaks out. Their webs will not serve as clothing, nor will they cover themselves with what they make. Their works are works of wickedness, of sin, of injustice, of wrongdoings, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil. And they rush to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of wickedness, of sin, of injustice, of wrongdoing. Devastation and destruction are in their highways. They do not know the way of peace. And there is no justice in their tracks. They have made them into crooked paths. Whoever walks on them does not know peace. You know... I will only read, talk about the last verse she read now. Whoever walks in them does not have peace. All this group, whoever walks in them does not know peace. Many of us today, we don't have peace. When I look, it's because of the life that people put us in. The group that we are in. The group that does not want to fear God. Who does not have the truth. Because it's only peace which is the fruit of the truth. Is, that is the only you will find it when you have truth. I don't know if you're hearing that. Okay, also read second, maybe, let me give you this one. Second Peter 2. Petra wa bobe di chapter 2 2 to 3 2 to 3 You must go and read the message I'm giving you Liele ba leta ba yeke le botsang ka yona 2 2 to 3 Petra wa bobe di chapter 2 It's a children of 2 to 3 of disobedience Ke bana ba usikwe Second Peter 2 verse 2 Yes to 3 Many will follow their shameful ways and because of them the way of truth will be maligned. And in their greed they will exploit you with false arguments and twisted doctrines. Their sentence of condemnation which God has decreed from a time long ago is not idle but is still in force and their destruction and deepening misery is not asleep but is on its way stop there mama this scripture if we can read it you will see that people that we think they are they are not let me read the, let me just read many will follow their shameful ways because of them the way of the truth will be malignant 
In other words, will be cursed. Will be talked against. People, even now, what is happening now? People are talking against the church. And the reasons why people are talking about the church is because of the shameful ways. Verse 3 says, greed. They will explode you with false arguments and twisted doctrine. This is something that has affected the truth today. The, the Bible is the mirror of our lives. We need to reach a level if we are learned from the Bible. Not twisted doctrine. I can give an example. I think it's useless for me to come and teach you about demons. Or teach you about angels. Because what you need now, you need to know about you and Jesus. Not twisted things. That will bring some arguments. It's as good as I can come here. Like, like someone can come and say, I went to heaven. I saw two cows. Another one say, I went to heaven, I saw one sheep. I mean, so such things you are not supposed to be telling you. Some things I'm sure they are full of pride. This is the time now that we stand in the truth. We our character. I don't know if you're hearing. Many of us we don't have truth. We are coming to church. We are part of everything that is done in the church. But truth is not there. Think about the day you know that <laughs> the person you trust it's is it's a fornicator. Think about the day you find that the, the partner you have is committing adultery. To show there's no truth, people can do whatever they want to do. Think about the day you found that the person you think was telling the truth was lying all the time. This is going to affect your trust again. This is the time now that you rely in the scriptures because many will follow shameful ways. Ways of not having the truth. I was born in a church. But our church, I used to ask questions when I was going to the church. I would say, ah, we are in a church here. Eh? After church, I said, summer is coming. I said, yeah, there's no truth here. I mean, there are, these things, you can... They are clear to you. You can <inaudible> judge by yourself. I said, how can we spend the whole day <inaudible> waiting for a Sanoma to come <inaudible> to Teresa <inaudible> and, 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 and Muziru and to come <inaudible> and, and to come and cut us bleeding. <inaudible> and here, I mean, in the church we are singing. <inaudible> I mean, we are here, but we call Sanguma after church. I say, no, we are wasting time here. So, so I grew up saying, no, I don't want to waste time when I'm going to that church. I, so always, I, I would love to go and play soccer. I, I love to go and play soccer because I know this is the truth. How can you know that you are a Christian? I mean, I'm not saying that you are 
I mean, if truly you're a Christian, you've got a boyfriend. How can you need to marry a boyfriend? You're not even married. You're not even You're not even married. 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 You're not Until we catch you up, is then you will say, "I want to stop." I don't know if you are hearing me. Amen. How many of you want to change today? There are many shameful ways here. God wants to help you. Stand in the truth. 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 Because I was telling people that I'm going to be very strict this year. Because the word of God now is being insulted because of our characters. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You know, can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Can you just believe when you feel like you are in sin? Think about you know always that when I walk with a wife, my wife is she's fat like this. Think one day you find me walking with a slender. What are you going to say? You will never come here again. You will begin to crush everything. If we don't stand in the truth, we kill many people. I don't know if you're hearing me. We must follow the truth. We must follow the truth. Let me ask you a question. I'm not denying you are here. I'm not denying you are here with your girlfriend. You are here with your boyfriend. Do you think what will happen if you can die today? I mean, you are carrying on sinning. No one is stopping you. It's alright. But what will happen to you if you die today? Why don't you wait and do things right? This is the time now that you say, I want to change. I want to do what is right. I don't want pastor to trust me when I'm sinning. I don't want pastor to trust me when I'm sinning. Pastor to trust me when I've got weak points. Our pastors they don't know everything. Our pastors won't prophesy you what you know. They don't know 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 what you know.